Okay, let's see exactly what mysteries are hidden in this place. It's for King Sandy Butt's tomb, huh? I'm ready to face his wrath. Come, King Sandy Butt! Oh, jeez! Okay, okay, I understand. Well, this is gonna be rough. Alright then, welcome back everybody to Let's Play Magic Kazooie with your host name's 406 and now I'm trapped inside this tomb of King Sandy Butt. I have to get out of here quickly, quickly, quickly. Oh, jeez. I have to figure out my way through this maze. I don't exactly remember how. I think if I spend some time wandering, I'll figure it out. Hang on a sec. I think of something up here. Yep, a grunty switch. I knew it. I knew there wasn't something on top of that. It was inside. Okay, gotta hurry, gotta hurry, gotta hurry. Something bad's gonna happen if I don't make it to the end, probably. A mummy! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, go, 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 go. Yes. I survived it, yes. Yes, I would prefer if you opened it, thank you. And there's a Jinjo in here. Wow, this guy trapped a lot of things in here. What an ass. Where are you, Jinjo? I'll find you and rescue you. Where are you? Ah, in here. You're the only thing that doesn't have web on it, probably because you're a living creature. Okay. We got that taken care of. So I guess now it's about time to fl- uh, Not yet. Hang on a sec. I've been in there. Huh. Looks like that's a guy that needs rescuing. Damn it! I need to rescue myself first. Yeah, there's a freaking camel trapped on a freaking island with sand around him. That's like the worst situation a creature that's not like me could have. I guess I should help him out then. Hey, Gobi. How you doing? You need some shade, huh? Well, how about you get out of here first? Ooh, that's convenient. All right, yeah, I'm sure you can find a place to cool off. Good for you. I love helping people. Especially when they give me stuff. That's really the only reason to help people. <laughs> they give me rewards. Oh, hey, don't worry. I'm an asshole. Okay. There's a honeycomb in there. Where's the other one in this place, I wonder? Is it down that sand? I wouldn't be all that surprised. Hmm, I don't think I want to fly yet, though. Still something else I want to do. I think. Oh, yeah, it has to do with this. The star door thing. Right, I guess I can just climb in. 25 seconds to get in there. Whoa. All right, let's try. Uh, there's no way this is happening. <laughs> there's no way in hell I'm climbing up there that fast. I don't think even a fly can get me up there that quickly. What the hell? That's a monster freaking path. Grunty's race you cannot beat until you find some faster feet. Well, at least they let me know. So I'm on the right track in regards to thinking. Oh wow, my health is low. I can tell just by the facial expression. So let me go get some health. No, 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 get away from me. Okay, looks like I have to run. All right, careful. Oh, come on. Don't make me sit here and wait. Oh, God, this is going to be difficult. They love to make me sit and wait for the thing to open so I can go. I got to cut corners whenever possible. Oh, God. Yeah, I made it. Phew, that was a close one. That was difficult. 
Huh. Really? Mummies underwater? You can't be serious! Ah! If I can just get that jiggy, maybe something will happen. Yep, that'll do it. Let's drain this place dry. Sorry. But I want some liquid around this place. I don't like quicksand. Ooh. That makes things a lot better. And now I can kill everybody in here. Or at least hurt them. Get them to leave me alone. Leave me alone. You too! Get away from my note. I'm in pain. Surprised they're as happy as they are with how much damage they've taken. They should be in much more pain. They're masochists. They've got to be if they're still enjoying this. Yep, there's stuff down here. I knew it. Now I can't fly out of here. Not like I need to, since I can swim. Underwater flying. I swear to God, if somebody says that's a term, that doesn't mean swimming. They're getting smacked. Well, nice to know there's a Jinjo in here, too. So there's only three things left to do. I bet one involves the tree, one involves the camel, and one probably involves, uh, something else. No shit. Ah! Opening that temple gate with Kazooie flying into it. Right. Hmm. Where are the honeycombs, then? Oh, there's still that, too. Hmm. That makes four, probably. Let me look around. I'm sure I'll find something. How's it going? The tree looks a bit thirsty, but I need all my water for myself. Oh, really? You can't just get more? You need rain, huh? Oh, we've been through this conversation. Can I skip it? Nope. Oh, well. Let me help you out. Share! As gross as it is, you're going to have to accept it. Glad you enjoy it. Whoa. Nice uh, growing job there. But I can't climb that high, jerk. Oh, wow, the shadow's done very well. I'll give him that. And there's only eggs under that water, so I don't really give a damn. Take that. All right. Let's keep looking around. Let me find Gobi again. I want to... There he is. I should probably hit him again. He's probably still hogging something else, knowing how he acts. Oh, God. Nearly dead. Phew. And now my health is going to stay around because they're letting me know I'm low. Well, I'm about to pound Gobi again because I don't like him. Sneaky bastard. Hogging water for, from himself, for himself. Whoa! Nearly, nearly, nearly dead. Dangerous situation now. Well, if I'm going to die, I may as well die flying. I don't have to worry about the note situation, so I'll just... Be careful. Oh yeah, I can always just fly to Gobi. Summon all the hidden rings of the ancients to beat the witch. Hmm. Oh, there's the other one. You know what? I'm going to deal with you now, because I don't like you. You're a jerk. I knew it. You had one. That's it. I'm leaving this desert to find some peace and quiet. Yeah, you go ahead and do, your, do that. I don't like people that hide things from me. Especially when I need them. What a greedy bastard, hogging water. Hugging a freaking honeycomb. Why does a freaking camel need a honeycomb? Uh. Oh well, at least I saved him from being stranded on that sand island. At least he can find more water. I'm sure it really doesn't take that long. I can always screw them later if I really feel like I need to. Let me go get that other honeycomb. If I can do that, I can get my health back. 
Alright, I'd be careful not to hit the edges or anything. Come on, baby! Yes! And because it's one of these things, I get full health upon getting that. Yes! Ha <laughs> ha! Ah, let me go get the Ring of the Ancients first. I only do that because it's faster for me to do that to travel. Sweet. Oh, the other one just happens to be nearby. Okay. Just hold still so I can fly inside you. In between the two cacti, huh? They're all surrounding the freaking Jinxie statue. This Jinxie location. Okay, now you're moving around. Jeez, how many of you are there? There can't be that many, right? I imagine that there's only like six. That's number one, right? Or am I on five? Oh. You're not going to give me what you said you would, but... I'd much rather have that, believe it or not. I mean, that will help me beat the witch, so thank you. So I won't question it. Let me see if I can skip the dance if I fly into the jiggy. Yep. All that's left is this now. I'm sure the last of the notes are hidden in here, too. Ow! There we go, I fixed that. Really? You're gonna give me all that time to just land back down onto the ground? Ah, That's why. Because landing could be rough. Thank you for that, then. Huh. Let me get the last of the notes first. I'm guessing they're all in here. Huh. What's that weird little ant ear creature you have? I'm curious. It makes me hungry. There we go. Thank you. I'm glad I got all the notes. Alright. Hello, Ruby. Well, we want a Jiggy. Please, Pipe Boy. Give us your treasure. Okay. Then how about I fill this up for you? I'll give you an offering. Alright. Yeah, help me out, please. There we go. I got what I needed. Thank you. Thank you, Hista. Yes! Get out of here! Stop listening! Damn, Xbox One. Why did you think I said Xbox, you bastard? Ah! Well, that was embarrassing. I didn't want to record that. Oh, uh, that's funny. But again, embarrassing. Okay, I got everything, right? I believe I did, yes. Take that, Gobi's Valley. I conquered you quickly. Good. So now I can get stuff I needed back at other places. Alright, good. After this, we can explore some more places. In the lair. Then we can call us an episode. Because there's... Hmm. Based on the numbers of all the... Frickin', uh... Oh, wow. You really want me to do it this way? That's mean. Based on the number of honeycomb pieces left, that probably means there's three levels left. Unless there's two honeycombs hidden in here somewhere, in which case it'd be two. I doubt it's that few, though. And so does everybody else, which is why I bring that up in the first place. All right, now I got the speed shoes. I can see exactly what flying around here would do. Which is exactly what I want to do now. Hmm. I do not care for him. You know what, let's go race Boggy first. 
I gotta conquer him. Now I have those shoes ready. I can pretty much own him. Let's show him what for, so he can stop messing around with us like a jackass. Boggy! There you are, you boggly bastard. I'm ready for the race this time. Now I have those speed shoes, I can probably outrun you. Are you ready for this? I bet not. You ready? Let's go! Ooh, he's a little hard to keep up with. Eh, not that much, actually. I'm right behind you. Ah! That's bad, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad. Go, 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 go. I can walk quicker. Oh, really? You don't look like you can walk quicker. Seriously. You look like a fat piece of shit. Oh god, rubber band AI, no! Yeah, run ahead of me, please. Go ahead, keep getting ahead. Keep getting ahead, please. You're trying to trick me, the rubber band AI. I'm not gonna let you. Haha! -ha! And just like that, I beat you. I even screwed up. Because of the way you are, I was able to win. That's right. You better get the hell out of here. You're out to get their presents that I already got for them. <sighs> this father, I swear, his priorities are terrible. Yeah, the life regenerated here. I'll take it. After I dance around in victory, I finally conquered his stupid fat ass on a sled. Yes. Yeah, you better go back to your kids. You bastard. Leaving them alone. Back towards the winter. After the holidays. What kind of father are you? Jeez. Who abandons their kids just to go to a sled race? My god. I mean, it would be cool if, like, you had a mother around, but it looks like you're a single father. You're horrible. You gotta take some lessons from Louie. And Louis C.K. He raised his kids, right? Whatever. I won't question your methods. You don't like stairs in your lair because they always make you gasp for air, huh? You've said that line before, so I'm not impressed. Okay. So now I can do this. Alright. Let's go get it. Quickly, quickly. I can make it, I can make it, I can make it. Frickin' for real! Damn it! I scrambled around in the beginning. What the heck? Ah! Looks like I'm not that fast. I doubt there's a lot of stuff flying around, so... You! Suck! Go ahead, hit the wall. Or don't throw it at all. Alright, let me try this again, since apparently I need to be faster. Alright, there we go. There we go. That'll give me some extra time. There's no way I can miss it now. Yes! Let me look around here first. See if there's anything hiding. Hmm. Don't look like there's anything hiding around here. Okay, I guess it's solely for the purpose of getting the- Oh, wait! What's that tunnel? I gotta stop moving on this chair, it's really loud. Yeah, I wonder what is in this tunnel. Ah! It's the quicker way of getting up to here. What else can I fly around here for? There's nothing else worth flying in here for. But since this guy's being a jackass... Okay, I think I got everything I could get in here. So let's get out of here now. 
Damn, I'm running low on feathers. Oh well, I got all the things I wanted. So let me go open that note door. Can't even go to the haunted place yet, so all that's left is to go explore more of the lair. Let's do it. Hmm. A lot of feathers, but I'm not gonna bother them right now. I could probably find more elsewhere. Really? There's an underwater section again to this freaking lair. To my freaking lair. Hmm. Get away from me! You bastard! Ow! Hmm. Ooh. Eekum bokum. Give me that. Ah. Uh, don't look like there's much I can do right now. My filthy bed gives me a rash. I never wash. I save my cash. Ugh. You should probably change your mattress or something. That's disgusting. That's extremely dirty. That's why people that empty out freaking the air and mattresses have to freaking put on masks. Like gas masks. That shit can get you sick. It's gross. So don't treat it like a joke, you freaking bitch. Ah, get away from me! Ow! He threw me out of the water. Well, thank you, I guess. Ugh. Ah! Mad Monster Mansion. I like the name. Let's go! I can always go for somewhere creepy like that. Sounds like a fun time. Baby. Hmm. So that's what the scary place is. There's something else over there. I don't think there's anything else I could do here, though. And there's a one-up that's too high. Son of a bitch. Get out of my way. Not gonna bother. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything else I can do here. So, I got the Mad Monster Mansion, but I guess I can't really do anything else till I go to there now. Hmm. My guess is Mumbo has something planned for me that can make me small. As seen from multiple locations I could go to. Damn it. It seems like there's something I can do, but I need to get the water a little higher or something. Otherwise, I'm stuck. Man. Why? Why do water locations have to be so terrible? I wonder. Hmm. You look friendly, but I'm gonna leave you. Yep, I need to raise the water level. Because there's another note door up there. Too bad I can't fly in here. If you try to fly through a door, they'll just put you back on the ground because they don't like you cheating like that. Jerk move, but understandable, I guess. So I'm gonna peck your eyes out. And yours, too, because I don't like your face. Back to full happiness. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some honeycombs to collect. Health. Yes. Let's try to go to the Monster Mansion and call us an episode. Because I've been wandering around here a little too much today. Kobe's Valley's done. I make sure I don't fall. I can see out of the corner that there's lava down there. Which doesn't surprise me in the slightest. Please tell me that gate's still taken down. I don't want to have to reopen it. Yeah. A gate knocked open should stay open. Especially since I broke it off. Wow, I'm a dick. Why do I think that was a necessary thing to do? Eh. Whatever. That's the gate's fault for being there. Alright. So, come back next time, everybody. And we'll be going to the Mad Monster Mansion. The scary world of this whole game. Just how scary is it? I hope it's not, like... It's probably gonna be, like, ghouls and goblins horrible. Nah, I doubt it. But, 
Well, we're a good bit away from Halloween. This is the scariest thing I could come up with for this time of year. Yeah, sounds about right for me. <laughs>